Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The OmniVac vacuum adapter is a valuable asset in the dental practice. It can be used in the fabrication of temporary bridges, crowns, base plates, mouth guards, custom trays, and bite splints. The restorative dentist will find the vacuum adaptation method particularly useful in the construction of temporary restorations. Prior to the development of the vacuum adaptation method, this was a time-consuming and burdensome task. The technique used to create quality temporary restorations is easy to learn and the equipment is simple to operate. A portion of the task is now being delegated to the dental assistant since some of the major steps are done in the laboratory on study models. The equipment needed will be the OmniVac vacuum adapter, coping material with a thickness of 20, and a study model taken at the first appointment. If the temporary restoration is a bridge, a wax-up can be made and an impression taken of the wax-up. Then a denture tooth may be used to fill the edentula space. The study model uh, is trimmed the edges are made square and the base has a thickness of less than two inches. The OmniVac has three main parts. The heating element, the frame to hold the coping material, and the vacuum. To use the OmniVac, place the heating element to the side, place the coping material in the frame, making sure that it's properly centered to avoid any slipping. Secure the knob. Make sure that the frame is in the highest position. Place the heating element over the resin material. Turn the heater on and allow to heat for three to five minutes. When the material has drooped approximately one half to one inch below the frame, the cast may be placed on the vacuum plate. The OmniVac will accommodate one average size cast or as many as three quadrant size casts. Lower the frame over the vacuum plate. The material will drape over the cast. Turn the vacuum motor on. Leave the heating unit on and in place for 10 to 15 seconds. Turn the heating unit off and place to the side. Allow the vacuum motor to run an additional 30 seconds. After the motor has been turned off, open the frame, remove the adaptation, and trim away the excess material. A barred parker then may be used to trim around the desired area. When the area has been cut by the barred parker, lift away from the cast. Additional trimming of the coping will prevent tissue irritation. During the appointment, when the temporary restoration will be needed, mix cold curing acrylic powder and liquid and allow it to become putty-like in consistency.
when proper consistency has been reached, press it into the form and deliver to the operator. When the form is removed, it can be easily trimmed with a Joe Dandy disc or an acrylic burr. Finish by polishing with a rag wheel and pumice. The vacuum adaptation technique provides the dentist with this nicely contoured restoration. A temporary restoration such as this provides protection for the prepared tooth and maintains proper occlusal relationships. This temporary bridge is a comfortable aesthetic restoration which is easy for the dental team to fabricate. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.